Despite falling behind 4-0 and 9-6, the number one Mercyhurst men's lacrosse team rallied for a 12-11 victory over number nine Dowling on Saturday, April 6th at Tulio Field. Senior James Chaika scored a career-high five goals, including the game winner with 12.9 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jake McAndrew had three goals and an assist, while Brian Sheets dished out three helpers. After giving up the first four goals of the day, the Lakers rallied, going down 5-4 after one quarter and 6-4 at halftime. Here's McAndrew on the roller coaster game. We knew that was going to happen. This is a typical Mercier Stalin game. It's going to go back and forth. It's going to be close no matter who or what, who's on the team or what kind of year it is. But um, I think we, were all, we all knew that it was going to be a fight to the end. Chaika scored all five of his goals in the second half, including four in the decisive fourth quarter. In the NCAA tournament against Dowling in 2012, Chaika scored four goals in a 7-6 loss. The ball moving a lot more, and they switched their long pole and short stick on me, so they were trying to like mess with me and confuse me a little bit, confuse our offense. But we just kept staying in with what we know and what we've run over the past, and that just seemed to work. Brian just kept finding the second level, me over the top center, and then just kept putting it in. After trailing the entire game, the Lakers finally tied the score at 10 with 5-11 left on this Chaika goal. Mercyhurst kept its momentum going as Mitch McAvoy came up with a huge face-off victory, sprinting in for an assist on a McAndrew goal to give the Lakers an 11-10 lead with 4.58 to play. Dowling answered with a goal of its own at the 135 mark, tying the score at 11, setting up this dramatic face-off between Lewis Riley and Mitch McAvoy. McAvoy eventually came away with the possession, giving the Lakers enough time to call timeout with a minute 18 left. Everyone was really confident. Uh, I think we knew going back in last year, we lost in overtime, and I think this was, uh, we all knew that we had a good feeling that this was going to be our year. They double pulled the midfield and double pulled a lot of people. And everyone was, so we were just trying to space out. They were pressuring out, so what Dowling usually does. And we're used to that. We knew they were going to pressure out because there is a minute left. They did the same thing to us last year. And so we just pressure out, and like, we want Jake to have the ball and play his defender. And once we switched and got him on the short stick, we let's let Jake, everyone back out, let Jake go to work. And he just, just found me over the top, and that's what we did. I didn't want to go into overtime with Dowling again because we all know that's, that's everyone's nerves. It's just because everyone's going again, so we just wanted to end it and win the back of the net. I got threw a prayer up. With the victory, Mercyhurst improved to 9-0 in 2013 and has now won 29 consecutive regular season games and 17 straight in the regular season at Tulio Field.